You know, I get the question I get asked a lot by young uh, entrepreneurs is, how do I know when I've worked too much? Mm. How do I know? How will I know? Hey, Whitney Houston, I think it's song. Wait, and what does that mean? What does that? What does that? I mean, how do what? How do I what? I mean, what? what? You're saying it weird. No, I didn't saying say it weird. What? What? Weird. No. All of it. What? Where do you get off? I just don't, I don't get why you're saying it that way. Why well, I'm saying I what? You said it a little way. weird. I, okay. I, well, I will. I will. That's a question I get asked a lot. Yeah. And I sit there and I listen to them and I nod and I'm focusing on them, and and they're just pouring their heart out and they just want this formula. They want to know the hours. They want to know by what time I need to be home. They want to know what time I need to get up in the morning. I mean, they're just there's just so struggling on to know how much is too much. And I looked at them and I said, here's the key. Here's the key. When you know that it's time for the pendulum to swing back the other direction, all right? Your spouse will let you know. True. Truth cannon right there. Truth bomb. That's what it sounds like too if you, if you yes. keep playing the yeah. you play the rest of the audio. That's what it sounds like when your spouse lets you know that's and the key is, is to listen to them, do not argue with them, and say, yes, significant other, you are correct, and this week, we're going to fix it. And so then the pendulum swings back. And so it's one of those things where you're, the, the, the people that, that need you and the people that you're supposed to be with will let you know if you're not with them enough. And that's a, you know, and, and work up to that point and just say, hey, listen, you know, whenever it gets, when I'm not here enough and you need me here, you know, you make sure and let me know and they'll let you know. I think um, one little thing I want to add on here, a little parting shot on that, is it, it, going eyes wide open about trade-offs. If you have to trade off time with this for that, know about it. You can yeah. plan it out a little bit. You can go, hey, you know what? I might have to give up, get up early morning to stay caught up on paperwork or I might have to, after my kids go to bed, do that. But you, eyes wide open. I, I love your move during the football season, by the way. You say, listen, family, daddy gets to watch the New England Patriots play. True. It could be Monday night. It could be Sunday night. It could be whatever it is. It has to happen. That, that's, that's, that's daddy time, and I'm going to carve that out. Yes. And so that's, here's the schedule, and that's going to happen, and I get one. I get one, and you've, and you've negotiated that. Yeah. You know, oh, you've yeah. negotiated it, and that's kind of your move, and I, and I love that. You, you know, it's not like you're trying to watch them all and, and all that. And uh, but you've got your one zone, and you and you do it. Sixteen games, baby. Playoffs usually. Some usually eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> Preseason too. I haven't quite coached that. Yep, yeah. Yeah. Can't well, that's pre- another that's negotiations. It's yeah. all about negotiating. Clay, give us the action steps for decompression after work. Give us the action steps here. All right. Well, step one is you need to block out time to decompress. To Z's point, you have to have some time to apply the brakes. You can't go in there and go done. You have to allow a little bit of time. Second is I highly recommend listening to your spouse. Just listen to your spouse. Don't if you, if you want to cut your net worth in half, get divorced. Third thing I would highly recommend, I'd highly recommend for everybody, is just know the trade-offs. Know what you're willing to compromise and what you're not. Know if you're gonna if you're willing to miss games or not, and know if it's worth it or not, and just know about it. Be aware of those trade-offs because if not, you're gonna live a life of regret. I didn't sacrifice enough to make my business big enough. I didn't sacrifice enough for family. Just know other trade-offs. Maybe you just have to kill watching TV, not kill family time, but, you know, just kill watching TV or kill something else. So, Z, anything else? No, it just reminds me of that song. And maybe I wish we had it queued up, you know, little little boy blue and the man on the moon. When you're coming home, dad, I don't no, know boy. when we'll get together soon. Yeah, and, and, if, and if you can't get emotional enough about about making those choices, just listen to that song about twenty seven times in a row. <laughs> By then, you'll be broken down, you'll be crying, you'll be like, "I gotta go home see my family," and that's a that's a that, that's. So block off that time, block off that area where you decompress. Don't do a halting break, okay? Schedule some time out to do it. Guys, thank you very much for uh, getting into answering this Thrivers question. And Thrivers, if you have a question, email us at info at thrive15.com. You can get the full transcript as well as the video version of the podcast today and uh, all the downloadables and the mystic statistics that we cited there in the show notes. Awesome. Bang. Bam. Boom.